YouTube and welcome back to Norris Cove. If you're new here, I am Yoshida. I am a self-employed hairstylist. I'm also the owner of Norris Cove, which is a stationary, online stationery and budgeting shop where we do minimal plans and stationery and budgeting. We are, I like to get my life together by planning minimally and functionally using a planner and also planning out my budget. But today we're gonna to be using, uh, we're gonna be doing our budget. I have not done one in a while, y'all. Whew, it's just been kind of hectic. Now, I really need to be doing my monthly, but it's okay. We're going to start here um, with our weekly um, source of income. I put down here Norris Cove, which I just call NoCo, and miscellaneous. I'm going to find another pen because I need a darker... And I'm going to use one of our newest ones, which is this MG. Better yet, I'm going to use this one. Okay, so for hair, I'm going to guesstimate about $750. Um, no co, I pay myself back from the business of things that I've already purchased. It's, I really don't know because things have been a little slow. I'm going to put 150 and the miscellaneous so far, I don't see anything. Um, the date would be July 1st through the 7th. Yeah, 7th. Okay, this would be, I don't even know what check we're on, probably one of the month. I'm just going to put one for the month. Okay, bills due. Um, I paused my cloth and paper. I may, I, I just think I'm going to pause it for right now. So on the first, we have Amazon due. This week, I really don't need my calendar because I pretty much know what everything is. It is $15.89. <clears throat> Community. They are roughly 40 the third, I have Epidemic Sound. And I think they're like 20, but they're like 19, something like that. $18.99, so about $19. The fourth, we have Walmart. And that's roughly 40. Um, the fifth, we have Credit One. And I think we're doing 50 with them. Okay. Sixth, seventh, on the seventh, I think we have Canva. Also, we have Apple. I'm going to put that. They try to take it out before their time, so they're not getting it some, until sometime this week. <laughs> Canva is like 1377 something along in there. We have booth rents on the sixth, which is 250 also, this week I have, matter of fact, I have a some amount left from last week, which will probably be coming out for this week. I guess I don't need to do that 800. Y'all, we got the car insurance money. Yay! Okay, um, overflow or rollover, roll over. We have, I think, let's say 70 dollars that's gonna probably go to grocery let's see anything else that needs to be paid this week let's go into my mini because i was just looking at this and side note i was talking to one of my customers and she was like you may need to get like on payroll and pay yourself a check i'm kind of looking into it because the, what i'm making is not adding up like i should not be struggling to pay bills with what i make monthly so let's see we got canva oh and i have a couple of quad pays i need to look into also we did not pay a few things last month because we were trying to come up with this money i'm gonna put let me whip out my colors I'll pull one of these out okay So in red, I will put the things that didn't get paid. If there's room left, I will pay them, but they will not be included in the total. Um, also, I have, I do know, I have a cloner, I think, or a firm due this month. 
I think that is ooh, 20. Okay. So what did not get paid? Let's see. I'm just telling y'all, look, I know I don't check in as often as I show with my budget, but I need to because it's the only thing that really holds me accountable and let me know when I'm not, when I don't do my budget, it's total chaos, just straight chaos. So if we had after pay, then there's after. Yep, on the third, there's an after pay. I might have paid that, but I'm going to put it down anyway. And then I'm going to verify these off camera and come back. We need to do Capital One. We want to give them 50. We need to catch up American Home Shield. They're going to need 60, but we're going to try to get them caught up. Oh, I forgot Meal Chunk comes out on the 5th. I need to send some emails because for what I'm paying, I need to be using it. MailChimp. Okay. And what else did we pay? Oh, we didn't pay. We got to catch up Chase. Oh, they need about 200, but we think 100 would do them. Um, Barclays. 50. And Citibank. 50. So, I'm going to do a little total of these. Let's see. It's 100, 200, 60, 310. So, it would be like a total of 310 extra that we would need. I'm going to just circle that. Okay. Um, let me get some totals. Come back and make sure that these are correct. Okay, you guys, so the total is 617.64. That's without the red. And if we subtract that from, I didn't do a total. It's eight, nine, $970. Track 970. That leaves us with $352.36. I'm just going to leave it at. Um, 352. Okay, so what I did was I went back and made sure what these amounts were. Oh, you know what? No, oh, that's correct. And I just want to make sure I could take off $20 from this because this affirm is this right here. So it's not that. So I need to subtract the twenty dollars. What? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, wait a minute. Jesus Christ. Six seventeen, y'all. Six seventeen subtract the twenty dollars. Five ninety seven. Okay. Five ninety seven subtract the nine seventy. I'm like, wait a minute. We shouldn't have more money. That leaves us with three seventy three. Okay, now this comes to 310, all of these things here, but I already know that I'm going to spend, I'm trying to make a budget for myself, so I'm going to do grocery. My limit is $100 this week. I've been overdoing it. So if we subtract that, that leak. Basically, it leaves us with 273. Also, I need to go put some money back into my fund. Now, the two things I want to take care of mainly is Barclays and Citibank and Capital One. So I'm going to put them down here in debt payment. I'm going to pick up my red, you know, debt here. So let's do Capital One. I want to give them 50. Barclays, 
50 and then Citibank 50. And I hope I don't have a late fee with these and these would total to be 150. And then again, I'm just trying to stick to <clears throat> my grocery wheel of being 100 because right now that's the only fund I can contribute to um, until I get caught up and figure out how I can pay myself weekly or at least every two weeks, like a paycheck. So that would leave us, <clears throat> excuse me, with 273. $273 and then the 150 that leaves 123 and I like to leave that little buffer just in case I decide to pay one an extra bill or groceries go over all that great stuff so let's pop that back in and again I need to really get into this monthly I'm enjoying this cover. I didn't think I was going to like the feel of the, the suede. I want it more so like this. But I must say, this has... I just like it that it's, it's not too bulky. Okay. Focus, Yoshida. Let's put in... Snap this back in. So here we are. So now what I'm going to do probably off camera is I'm going to fill in my monthly here in my budget planner. Also, I need to get my monthly in here. And then you guys, I've been showing you how I was using the minimal line of the weekly check-in. I'm going to fill in a weekly check-in. So I'll have it like on the go when I feel like I got a little extra. I can just flip there and see that I don't. But that is all for today. If you enjoyed today's video and you would like to see more videos like this from me, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. Come back for more and I will see you in my next video. Bye.